fashion, food, and fun. You're watching Living Local 15 with your host, Jessica Williams. Good morning and welcome to Living Local 15. I'm Jessica Williams. I am thrilled that you have joined me. We have a jam-packed show for you. On today's show, we get fabulous holiday book recommendations from Aja. She always brings us the best selections of new and classic books to read. And we pick up where we left off at Wild Crab Cajun Seafood and Bar. They have quite an extensive menu, so the chef prepared a great selection of food for me to taste from raw oysters to their seafood boil. I'll let you know what I think and give you Jessica's favorite pick. Lastly, we browse around a local gift shop to see all their stocking stuffers and what they have to offer. That and more after our break. Follow us on social media at Living Local 15. Christmas break is the perfect time to grab a good book, get in your favorite chair and cozy up by the fire. And with me today, I have Aja Michael Keller, who is the Director of Communications at the Allen County Public Library, who's going to share some great holiday picks. Hi, Aja. Hi. Nice to see you. Me. Yes. So I'm really excited to talk about these selections. You gave us some really great recommendations before. So what did you bring for us today? Oh my gosh, I was so excited when you ask for holiday recommendations. Yes. Um, and I ran downstairs and I said, okay, give me all the holiday books. And they, um, the librarians at our library, they know, they know the books in and out and they gave me some great suggestions. So okay. um, first I brought a batch of kids books because the kids are gonna be home, yes. they're gonna be in our hair. <laughs> and so, and we wanna cozy up and cuddle with them and do some, some reading. So I brought some really interesting ones. Um, the first one here is The People Remember. Oh. And so um, we always try to, you know, I have a couple small kiddos at home and always trying to introduce different, different types of celebrations, different cultures. And so this one mm -hmm. is about Kwanzaa, but it is through the lens of African-American history. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's just really beautiful and it's got gorgeous illustrations. Oh, yes. so oh wow, look at that. That will be a fun read with the kids and mm -hmm. um, you know some learning also. We always want to promote learning. Yes. This one is special for me. This is um, May Your Life Be Deliciosa uh -huh. and so this is um, a story about making tamales which a lot of people are not oh. familiar with. Mm -hmm. I love um, but tamales. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a, a Mexican tradition. I'm Mexican in my family. This mm -hmm. weekend actually we will get together and we will make a about 50 dozen tamales. Wow. Then we'll all spread to our different parts of the state and country. Mm -hmm. And on Christmas morning, we'll all eat that same batch of tamales together. Oh, so that's nice. um, it's a, just a beautiful Mexican tradition. And so um, that book kind of speaks to that story. Uh huh. Um, yes. Let's see, this one's cool. My kid's going to love it. Um, <laughs> Super this Santa. Is <laughs> Super Santa. And it is about. Um, you know, for those kids that love science and they're asking, how does Santa get around the whole world to all the kids in yeah. one night? It talks about the engineering and the science behind oh. how Santa does that. So that'll be, that'll be fun nice. for those inquisitive kiddos. The science of Santa, love that. And then- oh, it looks like you have some games too. Yeah, so a lot of people don't realize that our library has games and puzzles. Yeah. And in the winter, we're inside, we mm -hmm. need some things to stay busy. So mm -hmm. I brought actually Sushi Go, the party version. My friends and I love Sushi Go. So much fun, you know, have a cocktail, sit around oh, with your friends. Cute. It's a quick paced um, card game. <laughs> uh -huh. and so, oh, it's a card game. Yeah, it's a lot oh, of fun. Oh, cute. It's like um, kind of one of those where you steal from your neighbor type of game. Uh -huh. So it's a lot of fun. Okay. Um, and I grabbed this beautiful puzzle <laughs> and that is, you know, who knew you had puzzles at your library? Right. Um, but a great way to pass the time. Yes, and it became so popular in the past couple of years, puzzles and coloring. Yes, yes. <laughs> Very soothing. What else do we have here? Um, oh, you have cookbooks. I brought a cookbook. This oh, is a, yes. happens to be a Jewish holiday baking book, but we have oh. thousands of cookbooks in our collection. Ooh. And you know, you, some, you, you have your, your tried and true tradi traditional recipes, but sometimes you want to infuse something new in the, yes. the menu. Yes, I like so, that. You know, go grab a cookbook. Um, uh -huh. I oh, also grabbed movies. Yeah, I grabbed <laughs> a, a DVD. Um, uh -huh. 
We also have digital downloads of movies that people can stream. Uh -huh. But um, I grabbed Mickey's Christmas Carol. That is a favorite yeah, in my it's house. A classic. <laughs> and um, it just, you know, Ebenezer Scrooge McDuck. So yes. um, that's a great one. So we passed some time. I also grabbed this. This is going with my family. We have some long travels to do. Oh, yes. So it's a kid's book on CD. Mm -hmm. You can also do, um, you know, audio downloads through mm -hmm. our virtual library. You know, one of my favorite um, DVDs or uh tapes, honestly, back in the day that I used to always check out from the library is Anne of Green Gables. Yes, yes. Have you seen that? Oh, my goodness. I'm a child of the 80s. Of course, I've seen Anne of Green Gables. Oh, I love it. And there's like four, three, four parts to mm -hmm. it. And I can watch that story over and I over am, again. I am fairly certain it's in our collection. Yes. We'll be shortly after okay. this segment. I'm sure it's there. I'm sure it's there. I love that. Yes. Okay. okay these are for the older kids, mm -hmm. um, the teens and the young adults. These are, um, you know, you remember those teen years, romance? was this kind of mystery and you had sort of that teen you know angst and feelings about things and mm -hmm. so these are written for teens but from a romance perspective okay so oh. teen relationships okay um, we've got New Year's kiss 10 blind dates I'm dreaming of a Wyatt Christmas okay and then um, this one on top here is called white out and it's written by a group of black authors oh. um, and it's they have a couple in their series mm -hmm. and it is um, you know really geared towards young black um, teens who are looking for some romance novels that reflect them. Right, okay, that's great. Uh, this is anybody who loves, you know, David Sedaris, you, you probably have already read this one, but mm -hmm. uh, this is Holidays on Ice. This is adult nonfiction humor. Mm. Oh. So, you know, we, the holidays can get heavy sometimes, so yes. it's nice to have some humor. Yes, and it looks like there's something for everyone yeah. here, which is so great. So how can one become a member at the library and come and check out books? Well, if you live here in Allen County, you know, you've already you've already paid for it. You have paid for it yes. through your tax dollars. We're mm -hmm. so appreciative of the support we have from our community. And all you got to do is sign up for a library card. And all of this and the millions of other materials, yes. they are yours at I your disposal. That. Yeah, and it's a great, great selections that you brought in. Aja, thank you so much for joining me. It was great to see you. Thanks for having me. Yes, and you can find out more information about how to join the library and get your books to check out and enjoy them this holiday season. We'll have their website listed below and I'll see you after the break. Have an idea for the show? Want to find out how you can be a guest? Contact us at livinglocal15 at wayne.com. This segment sponsored by Wild Crab. I am at Wild Crab Cajun Seafood and Bar. They are brand new to Fort Wayne, opened earlier this year, and they have such an extensive menu. I love seafood, so I'm going to give it a try. And with me is Renee Zider, who is the general manager. Hi, Renee. Hi. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad you could come. <laughs> yes, and I'm so excited to try your food. I love seafood, like it's my personal fave. Yes. And I see that you chose some really cool options for me. Yes. So we're gonna start with the oysters. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Well, these are Chesapeake oysters. They mm -hmm. are raw oysters and we get a lot of requests for them. Yes, they're so huge. Yes. Like you can tell, number one, that they're quality oysters. Now, I've tried different types of oysters. I'm not a full connoisseur <laughs> because I don't know all the names of them, but I love oysters so much. And so what I do when I eat them, I just take the fork Mm -hmm. and I detach it like that, make sure it's mm -hmm. loose. And I know there's different options. So is this horseradish? Yes, okay. that's horseradish. And hot sauce, sauce and, and cocktail sauce. Yes, cocktail okay. sauce. Okay, so I, I honestly just like the lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even touch that other stuff. I've tried it before, yes. but this is the perfect combination. And then I just put it right on top like that. All right, I'm excited to try these. Mm. That's good. It's good. <laughs> they that is six good. And 12, wow. So depending on mm. your appetite for your appetizer, you can get them in a half dozen or a full dozen. Wow. And oh, they also it. come in raw and steamed. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. And fried. 
Yes. I saw that. I said, oh, I love fried oysters too. I can't believe the size on these things. Like I am so impressed by the quality of the oysters. Okay. Yes. What's next? Okay, we have the lobster bisque. Lobster bisque. Which so tell me about this. The lobster bisque, all of our soups, we have lobster bisque and we have um, clam chowder. Uh -huh. And what makes them great is you have really big chunks of lobster. Oh, really big meat. chunks of the clam chowder. Okay, is this a popular item off the it menu? It is very it is. popular. <laughs> Mm. So it's creamy, good. right? Yes. <laughs> it's a nice thick So bisque. creamy, yes. And I had a really nice chunk of lobster. I love lobster. Yes. Mm. So flavorful. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mm. I'm so excited. Okay, what is next? Okay, we have lemon pepper chicken wings. Uh huh. But you can always okay. get them in Cajun or you can also get them in. Um, garlic butter mm -hmm. type flavoring. Yes, okay, and what I love about the soup, I forgot to say, it's so perfect for this time of year. Yes. You know, it's cold outside, you offer this, you can say the clam chowder, and does it come in one size or this size? No, it just comes in one size, okay. so you get a nice hearty bowl full, it gets yes. you warmed up. Yes, okay, and so these are appetizers? Yes, yes, okay. those are all appetizers. Wonderful. You know, mm. what's great Lemon about pepper. those? Mm. Yeah, what's great about those is that they um, hand dredge and, and bread them here mm -hmm. and fry mm. them. So you're getting that crispiness mm. where it's not too much breading, but just enough to give you that crunch. Mm. It's the crunch for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm -mm. This breading is so good. Yeah. The tenderness of the chicken. Yes. I really enjoy that. Okay, and these are appetizers, and now yes. we have an entree. Yes. Okay, what is this? Tell me about this dish. This is the catfish basket. Okay. And that comes with either regular fries or Cajun fries. Okay. So I love, okay, I'm gonna start with the catfish. I am such a big catfish fan. All of, I mean, anything Cajun, I'm a Texas girl. Okay. Yes. Mm. So this batter, mm. I like it, it's different. Well, they marinate the catfish mm -hmm. in your Cajun seasoning, and then they dredge and bread the catfish also. Mm. And it's and not cornmeal, mm -mm. which sometimes you get with catfish. Yeah. I like that. It's almost like a beer batter, but not. Right. Almost, <laughs> almost a cross between like tempura mm -hmm. and, and beer batter. Yum, yum. And then, of course, wash it down with this yummy cocktail. And there we go. That was delicious. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Okay, and next. You're going to have a seafood boil. Oh, which, the official seafood yes, boil. We I'm, are known for. Yes, okay. This segment sponsored by Wild Crab. Go to the Living Local 15 page on Wayne.com for recipes from the show, to watch a segment again, and to get information on products and services featured on Living Local 15. segment sponsored by the monogram shop we are back at the monogram shop where it's your best place to find the holiday gift you're looking for this holiday season and i'm here with sarah the owner hi sarah hi how are you nice Jessica? to see you and you know this is the time of year people they have the big presents but we are your stocking stuffer headquarters yes. and we have fabulous things we were just talking Look at our uh, Woodford Reserve cherries, and you said you've had them. They yes. are fabulous. <laughs> they Those, are. And we've got bitters, we've got mint julep, and we've got our pecans. All of those are great. Any of our over here Stonewall Kitchen, those will fit in a stocking. So oh. anything like that, mm -hmm. we've got it. Well, tell us the age and we'll find it for That's you. That's perfect, I love it. So you even have like mixology stuff back yeah. here and this is great for coworkers too. This is the time to shop for them. Secret <laughs> Santa, we can yes. make the Secret Santa happen, yeah. I love it. Okay, so I know you have new stuff in your store, so can we look we around? Will, yep, okay. we will head up this way. <laughs> 
another thing for uh, great for stocking stuffers is all of our Stonewall Kitchen. Uh -huh. And this chocolate peppermint sauce, oh my word, I have it with a spoon in my refrigerator. Really? Yes, <laughs> it is good. We oh, have ready. a hot pepper jelly. We have all the jellies. And then if we have down here, I'm going to give you a taste of these, Jessica. Okay, this what, do you, is, what do you have for me? Oh, <laughs> this is our sour cream and onion. And what it is, it's a mix. Okay. You take... Oh, you mix oyster, it? Yeah, oyster crackers. And you take the seasoning, canola oil, put it in a two gallon uh, case, so cute. shake it, and it is phenomenal. Mm. And isn't that good? You People love, yeah. Wow. And then we also have it in classic Texas Chipotle mm. Garden Dill. Six ninety five. You know, you're going to have people show up at your house and you need <laughs> something and you don't bake it in 10 minutes. It is ready to go. So it is one of those like things just to have at your house. Listen, Isn't those good? Yeah. I'm going to do another one. Okay. <laughs> this is good. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. Wow. So yeah. much flavor. Okay. Uh -huh. And so these are all good ones to have at your yeah. house. Okay, Sarah, you have hot stuff that's on the market right now, so tell right. me about these. These are three bracelets, but they're hair ties. You know how girls always have a rubber band? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but are these not the Q-tips bracelets? They, they were are. one of Oprah's favorite really? things. Really? Yeah, wow. and they've been in, on Good Morning America. They've oh, been every place, oh, yeah. That is so creative. Yeah, and don't they, they look like a great bracelet. Mm -hmm. And there's three of them, and they come in the gold <laughs> and black, and they're only $15.95. Oh, so it is, awesome. yeah, what a great stocking stuffer. And then, oh, my favorite stocking stuffer, okay. we're gonna move that way, okay. my reindeer poop. So everybody <laughs> needs to see that. Okay. Everybody laughs, laughs about it, but it is fabulous. What is this reindeer poop, Sarah? It's, it's chocolate covered <laughs> toffee. This is our number one stocking stuffer. Really? And see, it comes in elf, it oh. comes in snowman, and it comes in reindeer. Okay. And it's all the same in each bag, and it's chocolate covered toffee. It is fabulous. People laugh and they think it's going to be not good. It is great. So it is a fun thing to add for all ages and the toffee's good. Okay, let's see, I'm tasting stuff yes. today. Yes, you have tasted. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Mm. It is really good. It is really good. It's, it's sort of toffee. Mm. People laugh like at it. it, but they really <laughs> like it. And then we've got here, like, if you don't have, if you've got your stocking, you can fill your stockings, you know. Yes. But then if you need bigger, we've got other bags that you can Those use for cute. stocking stuffers. And it is just a great way to do it. But the reindeer poop is the number one thing. Don't miss out on that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> got to get the reindeer yep. poop. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a whole kitchen area. Okay. And then we've got another puzzle. Oh, Jessica, this puzzle okay. is crazy. You have the best toys. Yes, okay. we have everything that you <laughs> Let's need. Let's go over there. <laughs> Okay, Sarah, I love to cook, so we I have love all the, the kitchen, kitchen gadgets. <laughs> this is the funniest thing. Check this out. It's a crumb catcher. Oh, that's cute. Is that not yes. phenomenal? Okay, that's so creative. That is like fun. <laughs> these are our little scrubbies. People love these. They buy five and six at a time. Oh, you can even wow. put them in the dishwasher. Isn't oh, nice. that great? Okay, see, yeah. Yep. That's great. Then we've got taco holders. We've got oh, wow. refrigerator fresheners. Uh, we've got jar openers. Again, you could take a whole stocking and fill it with all of our fun things that are over here. Mitts, towels, aprons. So we're good with the foodie person. Right. Got to cover. That's, Check. Got to cover all the people, <laughs> cover all the things. I love it. Isn't that fun? Yes. And then, oh, toys. toys I was just yeah. telling you about. This is the <laughs> best game. It's a puzzle. Okay. And what you do is you try and get the balls in order. Okay. Oh. Now, I'm not real good at this, but uh, other people have stood here forever to put Trying it in order. It. Yeah, it and one, it's two. only $12.95. Men, women, kids, everybody has loved these. Oh, wow. Isn't that fun? That is, oh, wait, I got a one and a two. See? Almost there. <laughs> everybody, and that is good. And then over here, we've got all sorts of fun clutch books, games, because people want to have something to do. So, Sarah, are you still doing your... Facebook lives on yes. Thursday. Okay. Thursday night watches <laughs> Facebook live. 
We'll take a week off between Christmas yeah, and New Year's. Gotta get but break. otherwise, <laughs> we will be on Facebook Live. Watch us. We show you all the new stuff. And that way you're ready to come in and buy. Yes, and that's Thursday. Thursdays at 7.30. 7.30. Okay, well, thank you so much, Sarah, for showing me all of your new stuff. And as she said, this is the place to stop by. Christmas is soon. Get all of your stocking stuffers. We'll be sure to have the monogram shop information listed below. And we'll be right back. This segment sponsored by the Monogram Shop. Living Local 15, proudly driven by the Kelly Automotive Group. Well, we've come to the end of our show. Thanks for tuning in today. To rewatch any segment of Living Local 15, head over to Wayne.com and catch up on full episodes of our show on YouTube. And remember, your strength is greater than your struggle. Let today be an amazing day, and I look forward to seeing you here tomorrow. Bye-bye. Follow us on social media at Living Local 15. segments during today's Living Local 15 were paid for by these sponsors.